Cast Iron Skillet Kitchen. I'm Chef John. Rebecca's behind the counter or behind the camera. She's behind the counter too. Today we're going to make a uh, Sunday meal. We're going to make a pot roast. We're going to use a uh, beef shoulder, very beefy flavor. It's a tough cut of meat, so it's a slow cooker. That's why uh, most people use those for pot roast. We're going to also use our four and a half quart Sakuchi. Um, stew pot. Stew pot or Dutch oven, whatever comes with a nice little lid. Again, you have to put the lids and the handles on. We'll leave a link down below to where to purchase this. And it's beautiful, perfect for this. You don't have to use those bags or anything to put them in there. It's a super, super non-stick surface. So let's come on down here to the, we're going to prep the roast and then we're going to start the browning it off. So come on down here. All right. So we got um, two. two and a half pounds. So first, I'm just going to put a little oil on here. And this is just olive oil, just to help this stuff stick just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And take these gloves off. I'm gonna put some salt on this, not a whole lot, because we're gonna use some au jus, which is probably salty. You got a little very simple seasonings. This is what we all old timers grew up on on these Sunday Sunday meals. What you think? Yep. Um, I'm gonna pat it down with this so I don't get my hand back in there. I'm gonna flip her over. You don't have to get every inch of this because like I said, we're gonna do an au jus with this, which basically it's um, a ground beef base. Get this thing heated up so we can brown our right. little olive oil in here. Just, just enough to help brown this off. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Flame about medium, so we want we want to sear this pretty good. Uh, we'll let this get hot. This will get hot pretty fast. It holds the heat in. It's got like a quarter inch thick pot cast aluminum coated. Get that good and hot. We're gonna go ahead and get this in here and brown it off real good. All around. Yeah, this, this is we're using a McCormick pack. It makes um, three cups for one pack. So I keep these trays around, I make a mess right now. Look at that beautiful crust on there. That's what you're looking for. That means I got it good and hot. Guys, Rebecca, I just show you, I took it out of the pot. There's very little oil left in there. I turned it, turned it off. Just wanted to show you the brownie we got all over it. We just turned, kept turning it around and letting it go. Beautiful, right? You see this side? Beautiful. We'll go ahead and throw our liquid in here. Give it a stir on the bottom because you know how that stuff settles. Mm, it smells good. Put our roast in there. Now back in the day, your parents or our parents probably used that beef base onion flavored soup packets back then. Kind of don't like that flavor of those personally because I ate so much of it. 
So that's why we went with hot jus, but you can use that. You can put garlic in here. We're going to bring this to a simmer. And we're going to reduce the heat and put the lid on it and let it go for about an hour. And then we're going to come over here and we'll show you what else we, we have. We have our homegrown potatoes right here. Rebecca's been growing some potatoes out of um, big rucksack bags outside. I cut them up, you know, try to keep them all the same size as you can, close as you can, so they cook even. I've got these, until these go in there, you don't want to cook them the whole time the roast is. They'll just completely fall apart. Give your roast about an hour's cooking time. But I have this in a little um, lemon or lime water in here. We also have some celery. And then uh, the celery will go in there when the potatoes do. And then in the last 45 minutes to an hour of cooking, you want to add your onions and peppers or whatever other vegetables you have. If you got any carrots, you go ahead and put them in there with the um, potatoes. Rebecca don't really care about carrots, not she don't like them as, as much as she don't care for them that much. But she will eat them if they're in there. But you can put carrots. That's uh, something that normally would go in a pot roast. Oh, and we also have some uh, can of um, fire roasted tomatoes. Uh, probably use the liquid and I'll order, we'll see how much liquids in there but I'll probably just pour the lit juice and all in there so we're gonna go ahead and get this simmering and when we make the next addition to the potatoes within an hour and add the potatoes and the celery that's uh, about two russet potatoes about one and a half celery they were very pitiful looking celery. They were small, what I'm saying. All right, we're going back on for about, uh, what, another hour and a half, two hours? Two, then we'll the uh, uh, two, two and a half hours of cooking time. We're gonna cook it for 30 more minutes with the rest of the, the vegetables, the peppers and the onions. We'll go ahead and get them in there. down in that dude the juice is sticking up a little bit just like we like it oh and also a can of tomatoes this is gonna be so good not just good so good just all around in there lid back on bring it back up to simmer we'll be back in twi uh, 30 minutes get everything out. we're getting ready to cut the meat i want to thicken this uh up a little bit so i got uh one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and about double that in water cold water pour that in there and that should thicken that right up to like a little glaze and it sure is Let's cut the meat. Now this meat runs several different ways, but I'm just going to cut it thin as I can. It's falling apart. Rebecca made some butter dip biscuits. We got a video on that. Go watch it. 
It's a coochie pot, did outstanding. And it's gonna be so easy to clean you up because clean. of this uh, great fan. All right, first time, I'm gonna leave the- um, It's a coochie link. It's a coochie link down at the bottom. We have a discount code, go check them out. So first time here, please subscribe, ring that bell to get our notifications. Give us some thumbs up, share this video everywhere, leave us a comment. And most important, y'all come, come back. back. Bye. Bye. Good old fashioned Sunday hot roast. Mm. Mm.